viewers, today is Wednesday, but you're watching this video on Monday. Why? While we're watching this video, I am on my way back to New York because I'm going to St. Thomas this weekend. I know! I would love to shoot all the stuff that I've done this weekend and edit it and put but let's be real, I'm gonna be soaking up all that sun and obviously vlogging and stuff, but I won't have time to edit, so you guys won't be able to see that until next week. But I did want to share with you guys how I'm packing because I am packing right now. This is what I do to help stay organized and to make sure that I don't have anything missing or that I needed anything and I totally missed out on it. So here's my secret to a successful packed bag. More bags. It, I, it sounds crazy. It sounds like clutter, but hear me out. Hear me out, okay? I used to put everything in plastic bags and stuff like that to keep everything in their own separate bag so I can see it. I'd be like, oh, in that blue bag, it's all my toiletries. In that red plastic bag, it's all my underwear. So I like to keep everything organized that way. And besides, it's easier to unpack that way because you can just lift it up and go, okay, this bag, open it, put it in the, this drawer, open this, put this in the laundry machine, put this in the bathroom, like, it's easy peasy. But recently I purchased something that actually made my life that much more easier and it's these um, travel bags from Bag All. So it's these reusable cloth bags that have a drawstring on them that you can use for your packing. And it is for packing. Why? Because they have all these prints to show what goes in each bag. So I have a bag for shoes, for my underwear, bra. These are a lot, these are a lot fancier than what I actually wear. All my chargers are in one bag, so I don't have to worry about tangled wires in the bag. I just have to worry about tangled wires in this bag. Private stuff, you know, for tampons and pads. I know, guys, you don't want to hear about this, but ladies, we need this. For guys, I don't know, you can put condoms in there or whatever private stuff guys do have. I don't have, guy, I don't, I'm not a guy, so I don't know what guy stuff would be in private stuff for guys. There's even a bag for dirty clothes called Wash Me. This is amazing, and it also has a holder to it so you can put all your dirty clothes. I'm only going for the weekend so this is enough to hold my, all my dirty clothes for that weekend but for right now because it's empty I'm putting it all my bags in there so that all the purses and all the little bags I use like the totes putting it all in there. So I have everything compartmentalized. These are the travel um, bags from Bag All. The link will be below in the description. I think it's a great Christmas present if you can order in time for friends that you know that travel a lot. But that's not the only bags I use. I also have this bag. It's um, from Container Store and it's waterproof, lined with waterproof lining. Because I am going to St. Thomas and it's um, the beach. So, you know, my bathing suit's gonna get wet. When you get out of the beach and stuff, if there's a changing room there, you can just throw it into this bag, zip it up, put it in your purse, and not have to worry about ruining anything else in your purse. And that's not all. What am I missing? Well, obviously I'm missing the makeup stuff. And all my makeup stuff are, is in this bag. I got this bag and Mod Cloth like years and years ago. I don't know if they still sell it, but it's a toiletry bag. But you know, it keeps everything separate from makeup to toothbrushes to, um, toiletries and stuff and the best part of it is it's a little hanger. It's a little hanger. I always hang it up on the um, towel poles um, in the hotels and stuff so I have everything there. But I just hope this video has helped you in some way or another with your packing. This might have inspired you to get these gifts as Christmas presents to a loved one who likes to travel. All this packing is actually getting me really excited for St. Thomas. I'm usually not this early a packer. I'm usually very last minute. But again, because I have my office holiday party tomorrow and then I have a flight right on Friday a.m. to St. Thomas, I don't have time to pack until now. So this is actually the last minute for me. And I can't wait to go to St. Thomas, go to the U.S. Virgin Islands, and just record everything and share with you guys my stuff. All right, that's it for now. Bye, guys.